Good evening, everybody, and once again, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I will try to keep the video straight to the point and we'll jump straight into action. This video shows how to execute stored procedure. Uh, let's say you have a stored proc on Postgres or uh, Aurora, right? And you want to execute the stored proc in Spark. So this video shows you how to do that. All right, so let's jump in, all right? So again, I have a table called public, uh, um, actually public.people. You can see some bunch of data. And I have a stored procedure which will dedupe the data, meaning it will remove all the duplicates from this table. So how to execute a stored procedure, right? So um, again, if you want to do this lab, you can spin up Postgres using Docker Compose. Uh, I have given the command over here. And this one right here is a stored proc. The goal is to show you how to execute the stored proc and not on the, uh, on the, on the stored proc itself, okay? So, all right. So first over here, as you can see, we created a Spark session. Uh, then I define my package, which is going to be org uh, dot postgres uh, SQL colon postgres SQL colon 45 uh, dot uh, sorry 42.5.4. dot That's the package that I'm going to use in a JSON dictionary. I define the username, password, driver and URL, as you can see over here. And this is the stored procedure uh, that I would want to use, which is uh, public dot delete duplicate. This stored procedure takes a table name, which is people. It takes a column on which I want to dedupe. In this case, I want to, uh, you know, remove duplicates based on the hoodie commit time. And then the primary key of the table, I want it to be a ID over here. Um, so the way you would do that is, as you can see, first, what we'll do is using, um, you know, Spark read JDBC with a dummy query to initialize the connection. So I'm just saying select one as temp, right? And I'm providing the JDBC URL. So this will make sure that, you know, it establishes the connection uh, with the, our Postgres. After that, it's a piece of K, right? We're gonna, uh, you know, now execute the stored proc. So we're gonna use the word spark dot underscore SC dot gateway dot JVM dot Java dot SQL dot driver manager dot get connection. We're gonna pass in the URL the username, the password, and then uh, we're gonna create a statement object over here, connection.create statement, and then we execute the command over here. And finally, we close the connection. So let's see if this even works, right? So I execute this, stored proc executed successfully. If I if I go here, as you can see, the, dupl the duplicates have been removed. So yeah, uh, very simple, easy, uh, easy lab, which shows how to execute stored procedure in Spark. That's all I have. I don't have want to keep this video any, any further along. Uh, this code is there on my blog section. So in case if you are working on something where you need to execute stored proc, this video uh, would serve you as a, as a guide over here. That's all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.